Today we are going to talk about electric flux. Now this diagram I've tried to represent what's going on, where we have the area of some sort of surface here that's within an electric field. Now obviously since there's a positively charged plate and a negatively charged plate, there's going to be an electric field that goes from the positively charged plate to the negatively charged plate, and notice how some of that electric field will pass through this surface. Now let's say that we have some sort of surface that has an area of 10 square meters, and on top of that we're going to draw a vector perpendicular to this surface, and let's say that this vector makes a 60 degree angle with the horizontal electric field. Now as you can see, this is the equation for electric flux, so all we need to do is plug in the numbers that we see. The electric field given to us in this problem is 5 times 10 to the 6 newtons per coulomb. The area of the surface here is 10 square meters. We then need to take these two quantities and multiply them by the cosine of our angle, and our angle is 60 degrees. So you have 5 times 10 to the 6 times 10 times the cosine of 60. The cosine of 60 is 1 half. So if you multiply out all these numbers, you should get a value of 2.5 times 10 to the 7 newtons times meters squared per coulomb. 